Good morning. Welcome to the Beamish Blogcast, September 7th, 2016. Newton nudging into southern Arizona. Still a tropical storm, and still the flooding potential exists. In fact, we have several advisories out. Flood advisories, southeastern Santa Cruz, southwestern Cochise counties through 1245 today. A lot of these areas here within the advisory have seen an inch and a half of rain when all said and done, two to three inches of rain possible. Isolated four-inch amounts into the higher terrain of the Huachuca Mountains. The Nogales Wash is over five feet in depth will continue to rise the next couple of hours and for that reason there is a flood warning for the Nogales Wash through 245 this afternoon. Wind advisory continues through 5 o'clock today for southeastern Arizona. Sustained winds 20 to 30 miles per hour. Gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. I think that'll mainly be south of Tucson along the international border. I would not be all that surprised if the wind advisory was allowed to expire much earlier than 5 o'clock. Here's Doppler radar as of 920 this morning. Modern to a times heavy rain, Tucson points south and east and moving up to the north northeast at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Much of the metro area has seen a quarter inch of rain and we could be heading toward one inch of rain thanks to this band of steady moderate to heavy rain precip rates around a half inch an hour. This will be moving in over the next couple of hours here and get much of the metro area into the one inch club. Latest advisory on Newton showing sustained winds of 50 miles per hour racing up to the north northeast at 18 miles per hour. Newton likely still going to enter southern Arizona as a tropical storm weakening through the day. That track going between Tucson and Benson. Here's the timeline for the rain, which should begin to taper off by early afternoon. Once we get beyond lunchtime, showers not as widespread. And then this evening, we could be still talking about some isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder and some patchy fog developing during the overnight hours. Now, due to that slight shift to the east, with Newton's remnants going between Tucson and Benson. The heaviest rainfall is going to be in Santa Cruz and southwestern Cochise counties. Two to three inches of rain, isolated higher amounts. That's where we could see significant flooding issues here in Tucson. Those significant flooding issues looking less and less likely as the minutes pass. I think one to two inches possible here in Tucson. Maybe those two inch amounts on the east side of the metro. Here's a look at your forewarned extended forecast, and conditions are really going to improve rapidly starting early this afternoon. 70s, that's it for daytime highs. Isolated storms still in the forecast tomorrow through early next week, a shade under hot on your Saturday and Sunday. So again, to recap, Metro Tucson, one to possibly two inches of rain between now and early this afternoon. Significant flooding issues that they're going to occur looks to be in Santa Cruz and southwestern Cochise counties. We'll continue to keep you updated throughout the day. Thanks for logging on. Catch you on the TV side today for News 4 Tucson at noon.